The news media pushing a premature win for Joe Biden. My name is Gian Giovanni, and this is Real Quick with Gian Giovanni. Thank you for tuning in to our second episode and for also tuning in to our first episode where we're celebrating having a pilot program. It's trying something different, and uh, hopefully you're liking it, and we're going to keep going on with this commentary of the news. The news media, mainstream press, social media, left-wing leaning blogs, and Fox News all projected sleepy Joe Biden as the winner of the 2020 election. The election Biden voters hadn't noticed about his platform and some wanting to change their vote now that they know what they voted for. Biden voters sharing content about Senator Harris because apparently she is the first woman of color or a person of color to get the vice presidency when actually that occurred in 1929 to 1933 by a Native American known as Charles Curtis. Okay, Biden's team also creates the office of the president elect. In 2000, though, this is where it really starts. In, in 2000, after Fox News announced that Governor Bush was going to be the winner of that election, while the other networks and news outlets all awarded Vice President Gore the winner. The, after, after a highly contested battle, the winner was not known for over 30 days. And we didn't know who the president would be. And, and during that time, Gore kept getting votes. The Democrats kept finding votes, just like last week, when votes kept being found for Biden in all these swing states. This is the same media who works with the Democrat National Committee. This is the same media that predicted a blue wave, that thought that Biden would win by 11. This is the same media who hates President Trump and tried to get him out of office for four years. This is the same media that didn't condemn the riots this past summer, who called them peaceful protests. You're being lied to, America. This is why your college kids' parents are in the streets looting or they're celebrating in the streets the loss of the great recovery in America, the great economy ever in American history, no wars, and draining the swamp that is Washington, D.C. Leftists need to wake up. Liberals need to wake up. Countries like Bulgaria, Germany, cities like Hong Kong, and Cubans in Florida. They think we're crazy as Americans voting for socialism. They know it doesn't work. And even overseas, we're getting people who are sad for our country. We let anchors peddle fake news. We just need to turn it off and go to different sources. Then if you're an anti-Trump fan... You post that Biden won. Here's here's the the truth. Three states still need to count their ballots. And as a matter of fact, they're going to do a recount. And that's Georgia, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. There are probably a few more too. The the mail-in ballots are questionable. Overwhelmingly for Biden, as the mail-in ballots kept coming in after the first night of the election. And if you know anything about the Electoral College, you know that the Electoral College actually doesn't take place until the middle of December. So technically, he did not, Biden that is, hasn't won anything. He's not even really the president-elect. The news media awarding that. So shame on the mainstream press, which I'm not surprised. They're all in cahoots with the Democrat National Committee. Some will say even China's involved. I'm not going to go that far, but that's what I hear. This is detrimental. The news media is predicting the president and are denying the arguments in news conferences, TV shows, and in social media. Don't deny this winner. That's what they say. It's time for new media, America. 
As a matter of fact, on November 13th, there's an exodus from Facebook. Turns out the websites of Parler and MeWe are going to be getting an influx of people. If you take a look at the current invite on Facebook, over 65,000 going to Parler and 3.6 or 3,600 are going to MeWe. Never heard of these sites, but I'm going to take a look at them. There's a lot of YouTubers that are afraid that they're going to get demonetized if they're not already or kicked off the platform by Google. Fine. That's fine. It Google doesn't run the internet. Facebook doesn't run the internet. They have a big hand in it, but they don't run it. They don't own it. I said we just start new media. This is America. And the internet's still young. A lot of people have already figured it out. Or you could just stay off social media altogether. I thought about doing that until I got a marketing job, which needed me to be on social media. Either way, you're being lied to America by the mainstream. So here's my final thought. You cut the cord on the TV in the cities. You need to cut the conglomerates out of your life. This is how we will defeat big tech and the news media. We're not going to be lied to anymore. That's why there's shows like this. It shows the other side of the story or tells the other side of the story. My name is Gino Giovanni, and this is Real Quick.